everybody it's Norma and happy Valentine's Day and it's kind of ironic that I'm reviewing this candle for you because I thought it would be something more you know related to Valentine's Day such as you know true rose or chocolate layer cake or strawberry or black cherry or fresh cut roses you know something that was more uh, Valentine-ish, I guess I might want to say. But the reason I'm reviewing this candle for you today is this is a Colonial candle. And today, Colonial candle is having a flash sale. Once again, they are having a 50% off sale off of anything on their website. And I just don't know what to think because I've always heard Colonial candle has been stingy with their sales, but lately they've had quite a few. And I was really hoping, 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 and praying that they would have a sale this weekend because one candle that I really wanted to get and stuck up on, which I did, I did place an order, was their grapefruit hibiscus. But I'm reviewing this candle for you today because I had a feeling that it might be a pretty popular one because we are now in the month of February, Lent's coming up, Mardi Gras time is coming up. And I had a feeling that people were going to be really, really super interested in this candle. And I actually went on the online website right before I did this review. And I saw that they are sold out of many forms. Colonial candles, they come in like three sizes in the jars. They have the 22 ounce, the 8 ounce, the 3.5 ounce. Then they also have Simmer Snaps. They have votives, and then they have tea lights, and then they have, like, you know, their samplers or whatever. This candle is sold out in every form as of today, which is, you know, February 14th, 2015, in every size except the 22-ounce size and the Simmer Snaps and those testers. So the 8-ounce, 3.5-ounce. Votives and tea lights appear to be sold out as of now. They may come back in stock, so, you know, don't comment or write down below if all of a sudden they come back in stock because they do that. This is in their main line of scents right now. This is a 22-ounce jar. It is normally $25. Like I mentioned today, they have the 50% off sale, and the code for that is VDAY. 50 and I'm telling you right now I don't even know how to review this candle it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous it's got that deep beautiful purple wax color it's a true purple it's not a lavender it's not a gray lavender it's just a beautiful purple color the burn time has the burn not the burn time the burn has actually been fairly decent on this the first couple burns I had, it did have some issues. So I had to cut out some wax. I think it was like my first or second burn. Then after that, it's been doing pretty well. Now I do have a shade on it right now. Now this shade is too small. This shade will fit the eight ounce jar, but it is a little bit too small for the, um, 22 ounces. It does fit it, but as you can see, it has this small opening. And so it sets on top of there, but it kind of slides around. I wish Colonial Candle would make shades. I don't know if at one point they used to. I know I saw a YouTube video of their store. They used to sell like hurricanes that fit these jars, but they really should should make shades to fit the oval jars because I think they're so helpful in the burn. Um, so I have been using that shade on this jar. And even though it doesn't fit properly, um, it's just beautiful and it matches the jar. So, oh, what the heck. As long as my cats don't knock it down, hopefully I'll be okay. So, so far, I mean, honestly, with the, the pool, once I... I cleared that initial hurdle. It's been doing well. I have taken this candle back and forth between um, my bedroom, which I'm in now, and my main room, and I've put it in the hurricane without a shade. And 
once I got a good wax pull going, I really had no problem since. In fact, I've even actually had to trim the wick. So, um, burn, really no issue. I mean, no residue or anything. It's doing really, really well. Now, the scent description is really interesting. And I, I was... I had such high hopes for this candle. It says in the product information, kick off the celebration with the exhilarating scents of bergamot, neroli, and the aroma of blonde woods, whatever blonde woods is. But then when you go deeper into the candle and you read the fragrance notes, it says top note orange zest, bergamot, and grapefruit. The middle is neroli, pedigrain, jasmine, and the bottom is cedar, blonde woods, and amber. Well, I love grapefruit candles. And, you know, orange zest, bergamot, grapefruit, citrus, citrus all the way. Then you got the neroli and pedigrain. Pedigrain is actually like a, like a bitter orange or part of the, the orange bark. It's still related to the orange family, but it's like more bitter. Neroli, orange blossom, jasmine. This candle really should have been amazing. Amazing. It should have just been full of citrusy goodness with those bottom notes of wood and amber. I really thought this would be fabulous. The problem is I can't smell a thing. Not a thing. If I put my nose deep into the jar and inhale deeply so the flames go up my nose, I can get a hint, a hint of some kind of citrus. Maybe it's the bergamot, but this is basically a scentless candle as far as I'm concerned. I mean, usually when you know you get a candle, it could have a light throw, but you could stick your nose in the jar and you can smell something, something. I can't smell anything. And I know another YouTube reviewer, Susan D, she actually didn't even get this far in her candle before she just threw it in the trash. And I can understand that because you can't smell anything. There's just no enjoyment from the scent whatsoever. Now I'm a little bit more tolerant. I mean, it's still pretty. It, you know, it's, it's been pooling well, you know, I like to have lots of candles going at the same time because I like, you know, lots of points of light. So I'm keeping it for aesthetic purposes, but as far as scent throw, no, 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 no. I can't recommend it for the scent because there isn't one. Um, and it's very rare that I actually contact a company and complain about a candle, but I, I think I'm going to have to on this one because it is in their main line right now. It's not a sale candle. And I just I just can't believe that there is no set whatsoever. So there you have it. That is my review on Mardi Gras. I hope you guys have a safe holiday. Stay warm. And if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. And have a blessed day.